Um, the next wee bit more advanced version is that we can start creating these JavaScript uh, based maps. So they'll we'll start introducing some interaction and in order to do that we do need to have somewhere to publish it on the web. We can test it on our local computer but if we want to let our people have access to it we will um, do that and well you can um, some web publishings um, can do it um, if you have your own um, website somewhere you probably be, have the possibility of doing it again the Rook has web hotel and map room for doing it and what I will demonstrate is that until now Google has allowed you to serve this type of um, data from their Google Drive so I'll just be using that they have um, informed us that this um, ability will be depreciated from August 2016 so after that date we don't know, really know what we can do then but until then we can just use Google Drive as a simple way of serving um, uh, websites it's um, not very fancy fancy but it will work so what we need to do that is that we in our QGIS need to have some plugins the plugins that we'll be needing um, I'll be demonstrating free plugins throughout this video series but the plugins that we'll be needing for this purpose are if we look at them they're probably called web something or so we have a fr 3D map render this one that generates our D3 advanced JavaScript we have this one that's called QGIS to web which can generate standard JavaScript sites and we have this QGIS to free JS, uh, JS so JavaScript so that's can do three-dimensional uh, visualization which of course primarily is for landscape terrain model buildings on it but we can also use it for statistical purposes and since we haven't talked about working with landscape models in this course we will use it for statistical purposes so these are the three that we will be working with the 3D or D3 map render which is the advanced one and today we will, on these videos here we will primarily be focusing on QGIS to 3D JavaScript and QGIS to web we will also have a look at one that's called CartoDB. Um, so we have a CartoDB, this one here, um, that we will also be uh, looking at in a later video. So I have installed these plugins and um, I'll just close it down. And they all install themselves down under this web here. So we, here we have We've talked about the open layers plugin that gives ability to use open layer data in QGIS and remember that although it's nice for digitizing the background it doesn't really work with your printed layout if you want to use it in printed layout you will have to be aware that um, it might move the background compared to other data so yeah not so good for that but it you can do a trick if yeah, um, but so the one to be talking about now is uh, QGIS to web and the QGIS to 3D um, JavaScript. 